Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at the Airbus A320 V2 and then specifically how to import a flight plan which you created using Simbrief. So let's go inside the aircraft and let's uh, start with it. As you can see, I already imported the flight details inside the electronic flight bag, right? You can also see, check the OFP, which describes the flight plan completely. But that does not mean that it's imported over here, right in the MCDU. So as you can see, it's completely empty. But the only thing you really like, really need to do is making sure two things are set up. First of all, you need to go to the MCDU menu, then go to ATSU. And then make sure that your username is registered here. For some reason, there's no, I would say, real correlation between the uh, electronic flight back, flight back and this system. So once you've done that, right, you can uh, return to the init page and then wait for this to respond and then say uh, request over here. And then it will directly pull all the information from Simbrief, right? You can see that there are still some things which are not imported. For example, the cost index is not important, uh, imported, sorry. Uh, as well as the flight number is not important. So those are the things which you still need to do manually, but uh, let's do that, right? So we set to, to zero if you press the option. And if you want to do it correctly, right, you can push the numbers over here and then set it. Now it says the AOC is, there, is ready. They can uh, say define the flight number. Uh, let's do it like this. Of course, you always need to make sure that it matches the one uh, rest on the flight plan. And then you're, I would say, 10. Well, kind of done right because you, when you go to the flight plan you will see the flight plan here directly and as soon as you take off you can switch on the autopilot and of course use the autopilot functionality to uh, fly directly to those beacons right so that you don't have to control the aircraft yourself of course another option is to control the aircraft yourself and don't don't use the autopilot uh, but that's up to you now the second thing is if you create the flight plan using the world map you might end up in a scenario where the flight plan is completely empty and you don't have the option like we had here to import the flight plan because it already has the uh, departure and destination airport so to do that there's a trick and the trick is to import it into the secondary flight plan so if you go to the secondary flight plan you can press the init option over here then you can say request that will import that are the same data, right? Not a real surprise. Then insert the rest of the data. Uh, let's say we're doing that. KLM um, one, two, three, four. Put it over here, and then once you've done that, you're ready. And let's say ready from a perspective, you still don't have this as the uh, primary flight plan. So there's one additional thing which you need to do is press uh, sec FPLM again and then say activate which will then activate the secondary flight plan and promote it to the prim primary flight plan right so this is how you can swap the flight plan really easily that's only necessary if you uh, program the flight with the world map because in those uh, scenarios you likely don't have the option to import the flight plan again at least that's what i faced it could be that in the final release of this product uh, you don't see the issue anymore but if you see it then you now know how to work around it. Here is this video where we looked at how to import a Simbri flight plan in your A320 V2. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.